Hello? Oh, <clears throat> so, um, I have no idea what the fuck these videos are. It's just a bunch of ramblings about, about, about me being a fangirl over people that are much too young for me. <laughs> oh no, actually, this will be the first time that I'll be talking about uh, a person younger than me. And I hope the last time, to be honest. Um, if you guys didn't know, which I don't know why you wouldn't know, am I making sense? Because you clicked on this video, clearly this video is about Timothy Chalamet. I don't know what to do. I'm trying to work around whatever the fuck a human review is or a human recommendation is, but essentially that's what these videos feel like, and it really shouldn't be that. You know, I feel like every time I do a video like this, it's... I feel like I'm in an episode of Black Mirror. Uh, I... I don't know. I, I'm not even really planning to make a video tonight. I just thought, I, I still have a video that I'm trying to edit, but for some reason I'm like, no, I must make this video. I must make this video now. I'm just gonna tell you about this actor that I really like, and why I like them, and why you should like them too. A human recommendation. It's really not that. I think it was during an interview for Sundance Film Festival. This was the premiere of Call Me By Your Name for 2017. I saw him, thought nothing of it. I was interested in the fact that Army Hammer was going to do a new movie, and it looked promising, at least from the teasers that I was seeing. Had no idea what the book was, had no idea what the movie was um, in, like, ultimately about. My, the official trailer might have been released on September before September, or sometime around September. <laughs> Literally any other day that is not September, or September itself. Um, could I be any more vague? No. I was immediately on the hunt for this movie and then got heartbroken because I found out it didn't even exist, didn't even know if it was gonna be shown in my country. The difference between then me and now me is that uh, is uh, several days of obsession, sleepless nights, and I finally saw the movie. I don't know if you guys know, but I did see the movie and if you want my thoughts on that, two separate videos. I can't do that. Hold on, sorry. No, description below because <laughs> I don't know how to link videos. I'm not, I'm not that kind of person. Also known as a person that can do things. <laughs> not me. Where was I? Yeah, so I found out about Timothy Chalamet and I thought, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> the first movie I saw him in was called One and Two. No, please, please, be more noisy. It's not like I'm filming a video for my one viewer. <laughs> One and Two, 2015 American independent fantasy thriller directed by Andrew Droz Palermo. The film follows an Amish family of four who live peacefully in purposeful isolation and the two siblings, Zach, Timothy, and Ava, Kiernan Shipka, begin to explore unusual abilities and dark family secrets when their mother, Elizabeth Reeser, falls ill. Cinematography is pretty good. Uh, but there's nothing else really, like if I were to be honest about this movie as a whole, it wasn't, like I felt like there could have been more explored to it. But uh, no spoilers, you guys can make your own decisions if you haven't uh, stalked Timothy as much as I have. Uh, feel free to do so because I feel like I have the authority to allow you to stalk another person who is essentially a stranger to me. So go through Timothy Chalamet stuff, I have to say, prior to Call Me By Your Name, the other movie of his that I saw that I thought was like, yes, was Miss Stevens. It's definitely a notch above. And I was uh, particularly excited too to see this one because Lily Ray was in it, Lily Reinhardt, and um, Lo Anthony, which, you know, he was alright. <laughs> I have to say, he did really well in this movie. Miss Stevens, released in 2016, directed by Julia Hart, written by Julia Hart and Jordan Harowitz, stars Lily Rabe, Chalamet, Reinhardt, and Lohanthony. I will forever know him as Lohanthony. What do you teach? I'm an English, I teach, I'm an English teacher, I, I teach English. Do you have a boyfriend? Seriously? Leave Rachel alone. Rachel? Whoa. Oh no, this is way too long. 
oh no, the probably spoilers in that. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. Essentially, the movie revolves around Lily Rabe's character. She plays well, Miss Stevens. I was gonna refer to my phone for that for some reason. She's an English teacher, and she is kind enough to lend her services, or AKA drive, three of her students to a theater competition. Through this road trip and competition, they learn something about themselves and about each other, and it's one of those. It's one of those movies. Chalamet is just fucking- I don't know why I keep calling him that, as if I'm a football coach and he's first string. <laughs> this isn't so much a spoiler, I don't think, but Ch Timothy Chalamet does a- he does a monologue at this movie that gave me chills. It's so fucking good. Mainly the reason why I like this movie and why it holds a special place in my heart is because the performances were so excellent. I didn't fucking know that Lily Reinhardt was that good of an actress, no offense, but she really can act. I mean, I've seen clips of her on Riverdale, I don't watch that show, um, but you know, I tried to watch it, it, it just wasn't my thing. Um, but then I saw Lily Reinhardt in this small movie and she's excellent. I love it when people or actors are able to perform as if there isn't a camera right fucking there. It's kind of like there are some people that are so stiff they kind of just look like they've memorized their lines and they're trying to just go through it as quickly as possible and then there are people that live their role and react accordingly and try to um, make the situation look more like a conversation that's happening and as you're watching it as opposed to like you know as opposed to you just watching a movie. I think those are the kind of actors that I stick with and tend to really enjoy the work of. And uh, Lily Reinhardt is definitely part of that. Lily Rabe is like excellent. I know her from American Horror Story and I've always thought that she's like one of the, like she's one of the greats and a complete underdog. And then after that, I think the next movie that I saw him in was Call Me By Your Name. And I mean, again, if you, I've already sang praises about his performance in that one so has like 500,000 people and their moms 500,000 people sounds like a lot to me but probably isn't is it I could have gone way more hyper with that okay let me try again no never mind <laughs> I've lost the will <laughs> Timothy Chalamet for me is one of those rare instances where the hype matches the product. I said that before too when I tried to correct myself when I called a person a product, but I really, I, I don't know, like all of this hype surrounding him and the fact that he's had overnight success is, is truly like, well, it's, yes, like, yes, give it to him because he deserves it. Do you know what I'm trying to say? In the few interviews that I've seen him in, my god, he is awkward. It's so funny. He's such a queer product of what overnight success looks like. I remember seeing his uh, his 30 minute interview for DT, I think it was, and uh, he was asked the question about how interested he is in, in, you know, celebrity and that kind of lifestyle and how it's affected his day to day, something to that extent. And I love his answer. He said that, um, he, it's it's a funny thing to talk about or to be at, at the center of because it's so beyond his control and you know you could be the it person now and then tomorrow they could easily replace you and I think that's a really good mentality to have but you know not that I've ever been in that industry or that I know anyone I mean I know some people that are that are in the industry and I I can understand how um, how it can it can change certain people because it really is a whole different world so i saw him on kimmel and he was asked if he had ever been recognized or people are starting to recognize him now and uh, he talked about how he was paparazzi the other day i actually saw that footage on instagram and i thought it's so hilarious and he looked so baffled by <laughs> by the fact that anyone was taking an interest in him and, little timmy tim you're not off the hook when he was on Corden and he looked so cornered between Brian Cranston, also another incredible actor, and uh, James Corden, how they were like just going back and forth with the dad jokes and then Timothy was in the middle of it just like getting slammed. Uh, sadly, for now, Lil Timmy Tim is gonna be Timothy Chalamet's sex video. It's just... <laughs> Another thing I want to mention too, and I know that this is bordering on like shipping territory, but I just want to mention him and ARMY. 
for like a quick fucking minute. I mean, look at this. I, look at this. <laughs> I can't see it. You can. So you better look at it hard. And it, it kind of reminds me of like how me and my sister are together. Uh, because we also have like a 10 year um, age gap and she's older like and you know I'm 59 she's 69 it's whatever I love seeing like their banter and how they seem to be always on the same wavelength whenever they're in interviews they they give each other a look too and they kind of already know they start laughing it's like they don't even have to use words most of the time and I love it I love seeing that and I've mentioned this before too like I really enjoy watching two actors not trying to create chemistry but just living in the chemistry and letting it happen naturally which is something that's very much existed within army and timothy that's a really personal experience playing a character like that what's it been like for your relationship with army i i i've i he's become one of my best friends and he, he he's a mentor in as much as a paternal figure and as much as a brother and uh, he's like really one of my great friends you know, we didn't read together for these roles or for this relationship or this movie, and somehow there was a random luck of the universe or something where we genuinely appreciate each other as human beings or something. Even after having filmed Call Me By Your Name, like, seeing the movie and seeing them in that movie, yes, like, every single moment that I've watched them in, not one second of it felt uncomfortable or artificial. It just felt like they were genuinely falling in love with one another. Timothy, your co-star, who you get very intimate with on screen, a lot of That's stuff true. to do with him. Uh, you must have had an idea of who he was before you met him and before you No idea. Him. No clue. None at all. Never met him before, didn't yeah, never. So what is your idea of him now that filming has wrapped as opposed to day one? Like it, Oh I, man, I I think I fall more and more in love with Timmy every time I see him. He's just like the best. He's just like such an open, wonderful, beautiful soul. The kind of dynamic that they've they've developed over time is just so great. I feel like the fondness between the two of them just grows each time that they see each other again. Another thing is like I really like how I'm seeing a lot of armies. Um, I don't want to say mannerisms because they're not mannerisms really, but like a lot of the ways in which army would talk and try to engage people in conversation um one of the one instance that i'm talking about in particular is is uh the james corden interview so they went on james corden separately the first night it was army the second night it was timothy and i remember that there were certain times when i would watch timothy and i could see the armyisms or the armitudes <laughs> army attitudes and not only is that evidence of that, of how much he respects ARMY, it's also a good sign of friendship, because how I am with my friends, if we spend enough time together, we start, you know, all of our expressions and things that we would usually say gets interchanged between the group of friends, like an expression that one of my friends would say, I would start to adapt it, and vice versa. I mean, I don't want to dedicate an entire section of this video to his hair, but my god, he really has good hair. Oh shit, I keep recording my screen and I don't even know if that's of relevance anymore. <laughs> Jesus fuck. The storyboards. Holy shit, the making of Call Me Brain. I haven't seen this yet. I'll watch that. I have to remind myself to watch that. Save that for later. That's just offensive. I love this video of him and Kamel hugging. Like, he's so soft next to Kamel, it's adorable. Oh, and I don't know if you guys have seen The Big Sick yet, but you should definitely see it. The Big Sick is one of my favorite movies to have come out this year. What is this? Man, whatever. I'm never gonna get to see them. They're never gonna come to the Philippines, and they're never gonna do a Q&A here. That makes me so sad. <laughs> We'll try to stay away from that depression. And I don't know if you guys have seen the New York Times special thing that he did yet, but uh, let's do a quick reaction right now. I've already seen it, but still. It's a good thing my internet's so fast, or else this would have been a really embarrassing situation. Oh, here it is.
the random aubergines. Someone perioded in that napkin. I don't know why he's still using that. Why did he do this? This right here. What are you? What? But he's so nonchalant about the eyeball. I'm gonna blow off this piece of dust. But that eyeball can stay in there. Anywho, I think that's all I have to say for this whatever video that I don't even. I don't know. And if you've watched up until this point, my name is Noah. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you guys want to see more content like this, I have a bunch actually because I obsess over things very easily and I like to make videos about it. And as long as I have access to the internet, no one can stop me. Please don't try to stop me. If you would like to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe. It's free. It's whatever. I am also active on these social media accounts that you can see on the screen. Have I made enough room for it? I hope so. Yeah, I guess that's all I have to say. That's all I gotta say. Like this video if you liked it. That would make me very happy. And um, if you didn't like it, I don't know what to do for you. It's kind of your fault for not clicking off in the first half of this video, to be honest, but uh, since you're here, give me a like anyways.